early start today. For the first time, I'm a little bit rugged up. And some mist on the lake. 7 a.m. It's going to be nice as soon as I get into the sun. But the tent is drenched in condensation, so I'm going to need to dry that out before I camp in the cold tonight. But it's the 1st of November. Lovely autumn weather. Oh, it's fresh. Hurry up, sun. Last bit of easy going for a wee while. I've rounded this first range, um, but I get to cross over the next couple of ranges. Um, got news this morning about the lockdowns in the UK, so feeling strange emotions like feel obviously melancholy and empathy for the people that are about to go into lockdown and France and Germany and everywhere and at the same time just really super grateful that I get to be out and about while I can that might change but the scenery is so glorious it's almost as if it's locking the notion of a lockdown Mocking, not locking. I don't sense a lockdown coming in Albania. Probably said that in Germany. So, all I can do is keep an eye on the news, prepare in the event of a lockdown, and enjoy my freedom while I can. The bitumen has run out here, about a kilometre out of Balaban. So, Basum Canyon is 20 kilometres away of unsealed road. 700 metres up, 600 metres down, altitude steeper on the climb side. Um, it's half past 12, so I've got four and a bit hours of light. So, hopefully I'll make it to the canyon. If not, I'm going to have to camp at a higher altitude than I would otherwise like, or descend in the dark. So better if I can just get to the canyon. So I'm going to eat a chocolate bar and have a go. I've seen loads of donkeys on the roads in Albania but they normally have a handler so I'm a bit shy about filming people. But this one's just come jogging around the corner all by itself and has seen me and now is frozen. Hey mate, don't be shy. Come on past. <clears throat> yeah, don't be shy. See you at the bottom. Oof. Just in case I was feeling tired. At least I'm not this guy. Nearly at the top. But of course, after I've passed the last village, uh, the road has deteriorated somewhat. Um, that is where I started on the dirt road, down there in the right bottom of the valley. Um, I don't know if you can see the road I was on. But this <laughs> final little bit, hopefully, Bouldery. I don't know if I can get down the other side. Sheesh. Sheesh. Let's see. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I did it! 978 metres. Oh, I did walk a lot of it, most of it. Um, and no kidding, just as I got to the top of the pass, which really is more of a peak than a pass, um, celebration but is it cool in the gang just came on my 80s workout playlist celebrate good times come on i did it <laughs> i knew if i could just maintain a walking pace i should get up here around 3 3 15 3 30 i think it's 3 15 and now i've got about an hour and a half of sunlight to get down 600 meters about 13 k's Plenty of camping options up here, but I'll just be that much warmer if I can get down 600 metres of altitude. But how's this view? Okay. Let's go. I did it. Well, I did the first one. The first of four, I think. Oh, crikey. Ah! Well, I made it to the bottom of the canyon but it's totally dark. I'm covered in mud. Um, 
my feet are wet, my shoes are soaking. Tent is dripping because I never aired it. Uh, hopefully it's not too cold tonight. And hopefully there's a nice view tomorrow morning. I'm camped on the side of what I think is some kind of precipice. <laughs> so I've lined all my bags up that side. The tent sort of bends that, tilting that way a little bit. So I've lined them all up there to try and stop me rolling out of bed, but also help me to remember not to get out that side of the tent and fall off the cliff in the night when I go for a wee. <sighs> Too much in one day. I need to take it easier tomorrow. Night night.